Well, this is my pride and joy. I've never done a video of this steam engine before, so I thought I'd do one today. It was built by my father, and uh, took him about 10 years to build. And this wasn't a little bit every day, this was when he had, when he had time. It's just a little small workshop at the bottom of his garden. And every Saturday afternoon for about 10 years, he went and worked on this. Uh, it was entirely made out of out of scrap. Uh, most of most of the brass work on it was uh, was cut from a gearbox. Um, the 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 brass girders they was they were cut from a an old brass mailbox, a, a Vic, I believe Victorian one. And uh, it's absolutely a work of art. It's been entered into a, a few model engineering exhibitions uh, by my father. Uh, he won a, a silver medal, which is the one on, on the base in 1991, uh, gold medal in 1992, and then it went in a model engineering exhibition in 1995, and it's got a, a little plaque on the other side, uh, which you can't see from here. Um, it, it has been run on steam. It was it was first run on the 1st of July 1994, but that was on compressed air. And then three years later, my father decided to steam it on live steam. And that was on the 6th of June 1997. And it's not been steamed since that date. Only ever been steamed once. So I'm going to do a, a close-up, see if we can zoom in on this camera. So please bear with me. This was a labour of love for my father and he made several bits several times because he wasn't happy with them or or he'd get better materials and he didn't wait for many plans he just come straight out of his head he how, how he started he had a piece of uh, a piece of brass bar which was this piece here and that's the very first part what he made and it could fit in your hand and and it it was like that for a couple of years just that part uh the, the strange thing about this this engine is because it was made from scrap brass uh, scrap copper scrap steel anything he could lay his hands on um all the different different parts are, are different materials I'm, I'm not sure if you can see I'll, I'll just zoom in down here. Like these supports here are, are, are copper. I'm not sure what they came out of. And the, the two supports at the back there are brass. And this flywheel's brass. And the one at the back is, is um, steel. So you can see all, all the parts with... Sorry, let's have another go at that bit. Uh, this flywheel is brass. And the one at the back is, is stainless steel. Um, so as all parts was made out of scrap, different components were made out of different metals. But, you know, when, when he was working in his, his garden shed, that's all he, all he could use. And, like I say, it was a, a labour of love. This little name plaque there, I'm not sure if you can see it with my father's name on. No, it's probably a bit out of focus. Uh, beautiful working steam engine. I'll just twist it to one side and see if we can show you a bit of it moving. So, that's a frontal view. And you probably can't really see anything happening there. And like I say, several parts were made twice. If he made something in stainless steel, then he acquired a piece of brass. It would, it would remake it in brass. So it was a, a real labour of love. Let's see if I can show you that bit there. Uh, yeah. 
and this came straight out of his head like I say no plans for this one there isn't another one like this anywhere else on earth this is it the one and only and uh, well it really is my pride and joy I could never never part with this one all the nuts and bolts were handmade um, my father's actually uh, converted this to run on gas as well uh, I suppose for convenience um, and that's it I hope you've enjoyed this video of a, of a live steam engine which was scratch built and this is genuinely a labour of love like I say a real, a real model engineer would make all the parts out of brass or all the parts out of copper. This is a little bit different because it's made of whatever was lying about and it was completely recycled. It was made out of uh, bits of bra brass, um, you know, scrap brass out of old gearboxes and just everything. Absolute beautiful item. I will fire it on steam eventually, uh, it's just I've not got any convenient place to fire it at the moment. And that's it. Won three medals. Gold, silver and a and a plaque. Not bad for someone who had no no real engineering skills. He he just had a little lathe in his in his in his shed and uh, a few drill, dr drill, bench drills, uh, a vice, and a few hand tools, and uh, no plans. So I think it did remarkably well. It's got a beautiful little oiler on it as well. Um, and that's about it. So anybody who's watching this, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.